Dark Prometheus here with our Week 16 matchup. Cutler's on the IR still, obviously, and we're missing Ryan Mundy for four weeks. The Lions are missing Bentley, Sims, and Ellington. They won't come back to the end of the year in the playoffs. Here you go, Matthew Stafford had one touchdown, but he had a lot of yards here. They play Matthew, uh, Matt Castle, and the Vikings in one. Reggie Bush had a decent game with one touchdown, 70 yards. And here's where it is. Tate had 121 yards off nine carries, or nine catches. But here we are at Soldier Field. The Lions are visiting the Chicago Bears for their second matchup this year. The first one was a blowout where the Lions just took control of the game because the Bears were behind, and the Bears made a lot of turnovers. So we're going to have to limit the turnovers, take command of this game like we did last week against the Saints, and slow this game down. We have to slow the game down so Matthew Stanford doesn't throw for three, 400 yards like he did last game, and we end up trying to match him. There's Reggie Bush getting ready to receive the kickoff for his 19th kickoff return this year, and we're off in week 16, and it looks like Bush is actually going to kneel it, and it is an unexciting 19th return. As we see Matthew Stanford, 4,100 yards, 24 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, and 72.4 completion percentage. So he had a good good game against this last, um, last matchup. But he's going to give it to Bush first. Bush is going to fight for some yards through Bostic, and that's going to be a gain of seven. He's going to step back, feels the pressure. He waves off Houston, and he gets the ball there to Tate. And here's a quick pass to Foria as he feels like he's being pressured. That's going to be a gain of four. So as we see the Lions. So with their whole offensive line, we're going to have to attack it. But we really need to look out for Golden Tate and Megatron, but also Reggie Bush. And here's a quick pass. And what did I say? Tate making his second catch for a first down for a gain of 11. Here's Megatron getting close to the first down. They're actually going to give it to him. And here's a batted down pass by Stephen Paia. So good awareness there at the line. As we see our Chicago Bears defense. We had Houston, Ratliff, Paia, and Allen on the line. Williams, Bostic, and Briggs on the linebacker. And we have Fuller and Tillman in the corner. Buchanan is filling in for Monday, and Vereen is starting his fifth game. So you see Stanford three step drop. Williams is all alone over the middle for a first down. The fly is going to be a false start on the Lions, so it's going to be first and 15. Two-step drop, feels the pressure, gets it away fast, and there's a big hit. That looks like Reggie Bush is down. Get hit by Brock Vereen. That looks like his shoulder. So as you see here, there's a quick pass to, to Megatron. It's going to be close to a first down, third and inches. Stanford, two-step drop. He's looking, feels the pressure. He's looking. He gets some side-on throw, and that's a first down. First and goal, gives it to Joyke Bell, and he's hit. That's going to be second goal. And Vereen overshoots his hole trying to tackle. And so we see David Fales coming in for the Bears. 4,100 yards, 30 touchdowns, 23 interceptions, and 69.6 .6 completion percentage. So on the offense, we really need to control the ball. As we see here, Forte getting the ball first. Gain of six. As we will see... The lineup for the Bears offense. Bushard, Slauson, Garza, Long, and Mills on the line. Marshall and Jeffrey out wide. Martellus Bennett is the tight end. And Forte is in the backfield with Owens as the fullback. Here's a quick pass to Forte. He's going to get the first down. And here is a, another three-step drop off the screen. He's got some blocks. Forte is on the outside. He's got two players to beat, but he's just going to try to stiff arm through one. Doesn't happen. And here's a good... But over an underthrown pass by David Fale, so it's knocked down. Almost intercepted, though. There's second and 10, Marquise Wilson for a gain of three. Third and three, there's one to Martellus Bennett for the first down, gain of nine. Here is a handoff to Forte. He's got all the room in the world. He gets eight. 
And there's a quick pass to Forte again. And Forte gets hit hard. And he's actually going to lose a yard there. So third and three. Bama's going to drop back. Seven strip drop. He's looking. He's looking. He overthrows Kadeem Carey there. So they're going to kick a field goal. And that's good as gold. Seven to three. So Lions are out to a, th to a four point lead. Stanford giving Joyk Bell. And he's hit hard by Buchanan. Second nine off the pistol. Here's one to Foria. He is hit quickly by Bostic. Third and seven. And here's one to Ebron. No one's even near him. And that's going to be a first down. Quick throw here over the middle to Calvin Johnson because of the blitz. Second and two. Here's Joyk Bell. Got some good blocks. And he's pushed out of bounds by Bostic. Gain of nine. So here's Stanford. And there's Fuller all by himself. He gets stood up there by Tillman, but not before he gets the first down. Two-step drop, quick pass, and he's going to run out of bounds quickly there for Theo Riddick. And there's Bell getting just gobbled up on, on second and 11. Third and eight. He's going to throw it to Ebron, and he has nowhere to go. The Bears are going to try to strip it, but the Lions are going to get the field goal out of it. So here's Fails trying to get someone open, and that's a blitz strip the middle, and he gets sacked by Fairley. So, third and 12, he's looking. He finds Martellus Bennett, uses his body to shield from the defender for the catch. So, first and 10, getting rid of the Forte here. That's a gain of three. Fails, he's looking. Short pass to Alshon Jeffrey. He's got room to run, and that's going to be a first down, gain of nine. Here's a handout to Forte. Forte's trying to break some tackles, and he's got, looks like a gain of seven. Forte again. He's trying to get the first down, and they're going to say he's short. Third and inches, he's got the side. He's got some room as three defenders miss him, and he's pushed out of bounce there. First and ten, play action. Fails feels the pressure. There's Marquise Wilson over the middle, and that's for a first down gain of 12. And here is Fails feels the pressure again. Dumps it off to Kadeem Carey, and that will be a gain of four. On They're on the Detroit seven. Fails is looking. He's going to go outside. He's going to be hit, but not before he gets the first down. First and goal, Forte is stopped there by Tulloch. Here's second and goal. He's looking. Fires one in there to Bennett. And that is a touchdown as he throws the inside shoulder of Bennett where the defender can't get it. So it's 10 all. There's a delay to Bush. And that is going to be, or actually a draw to Bush. That's going to be five yards. Here's one to Joyke Bell. He's only going to get one yard. Quick pass to Corey Fuller. And he's hit hard by Briggs. But that's going to be a first down. Here's Bush getting hit hard. By DJ Williams, gain of four. And the Blitz has him dump it off to Bush quickly again. That's only a gain of two. Third and four. He's hit by Cornelius Washington. That's a bad throw, so it's going to go back to the Bears. Quick pass to Marquise Wilson for a gain of five. Fails feels the Blitz, but it's a wide receiver screen. He has some blocks, and he just can't beat. Brandon Marshall can't beat the last player. And here's one to Forte. Forte's got the outside. He's going to get a couple yards there. It's a gain of four. There's Forte trying to get through the hole, but only gets a gain of two. Here's a fast pass, but it's almost picked off by the defender. Air Stanford to Williams, trying to juke out Bostic, but he's tackled for a five-yard gain. Second five. That's a good pass. And we see there's a penalty on the play, but there's a fumble created by Bostic on Fuller. Let's see what it is. And it is a rough in the passer by Stephen Paia. So that's going to be Lions ball. No turnover as he's feeling the pressure and he's going to be sacked by Houston. Second 21, second in a long bit. And there's Buchanan putting some hit on Stanford. Third and 15, drop off the Joyke Bell. He has no hope in getting that. So we'll go into the. End of the first half and going into halftime. The Bears have protected the ball decently this game. And they've relied on a lot of their running game again like they did last week. We still need to see some more running. And we still need to see the defense step up as Stanford has been throwing the ball all over the place. But we will see you in the second half. Here we are, the Bears get the first drive of the second half. Here, giving off to Alshon Jeffrey in a short pass for a game of two. Here's a blitz. It's picked up. Jeffrey gets hit. There's a flag on the play. Let's see who it is. 
It looks like it might actually be rough in the passer. There were two players that had empty shots on David Fales. And this one, it's going to be on Steven Tolek. So here's where the glitch happened, where we are now suddenly wearing our dark uniforms. As Fales fumbles the ball, Nick Fairley knocks it out, and Johnson gets it. But there's a good hit by Tillman on Williams from the drop the ball, second and ten. Stanford's looking. He's got all the time in the world, all the time. And somehow... Bush evades some of the defenders over there guarding him for the catch. Gets a two-yard gain. Third and six. Williams got it. Gets hit low by Buchanan. First and goal. And Bush is taken down immediately once he gets the ball by Ratliff. Here's one of Joyke Bell. Joyke Bell's fighting for the yards, but he's gang tackled. Third and goal. And Stanford is sacked by DJ Williams. So they're only going to get a field goal. They're up by three as there's a tight window to Marquise Wilson for the first down and then some. Gain of 13. Play action. Fails, rolls out. Feels the pressure. He's going to throw off his back. And here's Brandon Marshall dropping the pass. It would have been a 35-yard pass there, but he drops it. Here's a quick pass to Devin Hester over the middle for a gain of 11. Here's another screen pass trying to get them off guard. And Forte is only going to get... Six out of that. And there's a blitz. Gives it to Forte out of the backfield, and that's going to be a first time. As we see, Forte here has been the workhorse in this game. Play action. And the block just isn't a hold by Mills. But it's a bad throw by Fails. And here's a nine-yard gain by Forte. Forte is going to get that and then some off the inches. And here's a quick pass to Kadeem Carey. Trying to get the first down. And they are going... To spot him short. So it's second and one on the eight. Give it to Carey again. Carey's fighting for some yards. Going to get a gain of four. And they're going to have to kick. They're actually going to get a touchdown there. Uh, what happened there. Is there was an issue with the touchdown. Where it froze again. But there's an injury to Bush. And here's a fumble. And we see Lamar Houston come in. And just jump on it. In the middle of pile. Yeah, that former touchdown was just a run by Forte. Uh, pretty uneventful, but still, it, it was Madden was crashing a lot this game. But here's a good pass to Forte, and that's going to be a gain of eight. Here's Forte getting some room, almost to the three on a seven-yard gain, trying to push his way in. They're going to say he's in. But I believe this play will be challenged, and it's going to be brought back. But Forte lets you know that he can't be taken out of the end zone twice. So there's another touchdown. 24-13. to 13. We have a lead, and we must play good defense. There's a short pass to Ebron, and he's gobbled up after one yard. Here's a blitz. It's taken. Williams gets past Jennings, but Tillman knocks, him, knocks his feet and actually gets him down on a 20-yard gain. And here's George Bell. He has all the room in the world on the right side as he brought, until he's brought down by the safeties for eight yards. And here's Bostic saving the first down. He gets him right back to the line of scrimmage. Here's another handoff. This one to Riddick. Riddick's got the first down. Gain of five. So first and ten on the Chicago 28. Going to give it to Riddick again. He's gobbled up after a gain of two. Seven step drop. Stanford's looking along. Sees Williams. Tiptoe catch. And that'll be a first down. Here's one to Joyke Bell of the pistol. And that's going to be a gain of four. Here's another one to Joyke Bell. And that is going to be a first down. So the Lions are first and goal on the four. Theo Riddick's going to get it, and he's going to go nowhere. Bostic on the stop. Second goal, Stanford's going to pass. Quick throw out, four years by himself. That is a good play call there by the Lions. The Bears just couldn't get in position off the zone. So they're going to go for two. Quick pass, and that's the Tate, and that's going to be good. So it's a three-point gain, 24-21. Chicago's looking. Feels the pressure. Gets out to Brandon Marshall all by himself in the middle. He's going to be short after a gain of nine. Forte's going to pick that up with a four-yard gain. And it is first and ten on the 22nd as we see Forte's numbers. So here we go. And Hester's all by himself on this play. Fails his good awareness to look at his look at all, those, all of his receivers. Forte is denied there on the first down. And let's see if he gets a good spot. It's four... 
and no one picks up the linebacker as Tressman decides to go for it on fourth and inches. So first and ten. And if Vereen turns around there, that's possibly an interception, but that's going to be a gain of seven to Ebron. And here's Stanford. He's going to scramble, and he's going to avoid the hit, but he gets the first down. Here's one to Joyke Bell, and he's going to be hit, but not after a eight-yard gain. Here's Stanford. He's looking. He's looking. Feels the pressure. Gives it to Bell, as there should have been a face mask, but it wasn't called. Here's one to Theo Riddick, and he's in for the touchdown. So that errant fourth down play call may come to haunt the Bears as it's 28 to 24. And there's a ball that's almost intercepted by Rashid Mathis. And here's Fails. He's looking. He's taking his time. He sees Marquise Wilson open for the first down and then some. And there is Fails. He's looking. He gives it to Forte. And that's going to be a flag. And we see David Fails got nailed at the end of that play. And that one's going to be on Ezekiel Anza. So that gives the Bears. A new set of downs as he throws over the middle to Marquise Wilson for a gain of eight. Quick throw out to Sonoris Perry on his first catch of the year. But he's going to be short. Third and two. Jeffrey's able to get off of his defender. And that's going to be a first down. Here's Forte. He's got the outside. He's got two men to beat. He tries to dive and he's stopped at the two. So see what Kadeem Carey can do. And he's stuffed by Tulloch. Let's see if he can do it again. And this time he will not be denied as the Bears do good blocking. To get that small hole. 31 to 28. Stanford three step drop. Overthrows Calvin Johnson there. Three step drop again. Give it to Tate. It is too far ahead, so he can't keep on running, but that's still a gain of eight. Off the pistol. Give it to Joyke Bell. Joyke Bell's got some room up, up the middle. And will anyone catch him? DJ Williams misses him. And here's Fuller, the only man that can, and he stops him on the 10. So it's a big run by Joyke Bell there. No Bears were there to stop him. Five-step drop. It's going to be a quickly thrown to Ebron. And he dives in the end zone and gets under Bostick's dive. So Detroit's back up 35-31. to 31. Fails. Play action. He's looking. Short pass to Miller, but he drops it. Play action again. He's looking. And there's Forte all by himself. Jukes one man. And he gets tackled there by the safety. As you go back, first and ten. There's a quick pass to Marshall coming over. And they're out across the middle. Here's play action because they've been doing it the forte all day. And there's Alshon Jeffrey. Everyone's worried about Marquise Wilson off the shorter route. No one sees him. Here's a quick pass to Tannen Doss when he feels under pressure. Second six with a minute left. There's Snorris Perry with his second catch. And he gets almost to the first down, but it's going to be third and one. Here's a play action. Quick pass to Zach Miller, and that's going to be a first down with five. Here's a quick pass to Marquise Wilson, and he can't get in. Tick, tick, 35 seconds left, 20 seconds left in the next one. Miller catches it, but he can't get the first down. So it's third and inches. Forte is going to get in with 19 seconds to play, and that might be your game, folks. It's meant to put the Bears up by three on the ensuing kickoff. Let's see if Tate can do anything with it. He gets it. He has no immediate blockers in front of him. And there's a big special teams hit and tackle. By Shane McClellan, 15 seconds left. Stanford looks. He's going to give a quick pass to Joyke Bell, and they call a timeout. Stanford again, quick step drop, feels the pressure up the middle, gives it to Ebron, and he's going to be dropped quickly, and there's a timeout. Third and four. Time has expired. Here's a deep throw. Let's see if the Bears can knock it out. Calvin Johnson picks it up, but he's tackled on the seven, and that's going to be your ball game. Those first two plays before that, and limiting the yards possibly saved a touchdown. So the Bears have upset the Lions, who were first in division. I believe at this point they were 11 and 3, and now they drop to 11 and 4. So this is a big game for the Bears to stay both that and in the playoff hunt. So again, we used Forte to control this game as best we could. We didn't get the defensive defensive strength that we had the last game against Breeze, but we had a mediocre defense that didn't let him run wild. So thank you all for watching. Later, guys.